G'day, beer lovers. Yeah, Joe Roll, mate, again here. BB Ed. G'day, beer lovers. I've just arrived at work at the commercial building which I own, you know, where I have my natural health centre and where I do my tax returns. And there is an object sitting at the front door. You won't believe what it is. I'll show you what it is. It's a fucking safe. <laughs> it's, it's obviously the proceeds of a robbery overnight in the area. I don't know why they've left it at my front door. Now, it is so fucking tempting to touch it, to open it, to see whether there's, there's, there's any money in it. But uh, no, no, I've, I've rung the fuzz. So they're, they're coming out whenever they can. Yeah. So that raises a question, doesn't it? If you had a safe at your front door, what would you do with it? Would you, would you be tempted to see whether it's open? <laughs> Give it a bit of a shake? <laughs> Don't worry, those, those thoughts have gone through my head. <laughs> but no, no, I'm waiting for the fuzz to come and I'll give you an update after they've been. Okay. All right, oh, see you guys. Right. See you. See you. Cheers, now, I went around the neighbourhood and to ask them what they knew about this fucking safe. And I was absolutely astonished when I was informed that the doctor's surgery across the road also had a safe that turned up at its front door the previous week. So, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Now, I shared this weird story on Facebook with my Facebook friends. And these are some of the comments I got. Okay, from Pete Finn, aka the Fat Aussie bastard, he suggested that the safe was probably left there by one of my clients who was probably making a statement suggesting that I'm charging too much. <laughs> okay, Woggy Flush, he suggested that perhaps the safe came from the sky and they might be making part three of the movie the gods must be crazy. You might be right there, Woggy. But I think the mystery has been solved. Dave Hudgett, aka 1mon22, he actually provided photographic evidence that it was he that left the safe outside my front door. And now the fucker wants it back. <laughs> well, Dave, if you want that fucking safe back, you're going to have to contact the fuzz and explain to them how it came to be that you left this safe outside my front door. <laughs>